Hello and welcome to Thought for November the 14th. Our readings are Ezra chapter 10, Hosea chapter 11 and Colossians chapter 2. And our reading is, Therefore as you received, so walk in him. Verse 6 of Colossians chapter 2 jumped out at us this morning. It is surprising how often in doing the Bible readings, one's mind is captured by something one seems to have missed before. This verse is brief and to the point. It reads, Therefore, as you received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him. Paul is telling the Colossians, if we expand his meaning a little, that first you received Jesus, believing in him, accepting him as your saviour, but then what? The answer seems obvious and natural. You walk in him. Receiving him cannot be a passive thing. We cannot say, I believe, and then nothing changes in what dominates our thought processes and resultant actions. Paul is not in Colossae physically, but he says, Though I am absent in body, yet I am with you in spirit, rejoicing to see your good order and the firmness of your faith in Christ. Verse 5. Our faith must develop a firmness. We will read next month that powerful first chapter of James' letter where he writes, the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Verses 3 and 4. We may all aim to become perfect and complete in our relationship with our Lord and through Him with our Creator, becoming fully conscious of how in Him we live and move and have our being, as Acts 17 and verse 28 said. So when that day comes, and how soon that could be, when the bridegroom comes, will we be ready for the wedding feast? So let us walk in him. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that the Word is a lamp to our feet, a light to our path.